I guess prayer for me as a child um, was very much mum and dad kind of sitting us down um, and asking us to have eyes closed, put hands together, and they'd kind of um, say a lot of words and I'd have to say amen at the end. Mm. Didn't really seem to matter if I understood what they were saying or even agreed with it. It was the saying amen at the end was the important part. I remember listening to long read out prayers that were just boring and didn't feel that I engaged or participated at all or just been invited to repeat a line after somebody else. Yeah, I think it's really important that we remember prayer isn't about technique, mm -hmm. it's about relationship um, with God and the more that we can enable our children and young people to come to that understanding themselves, um, the better. And of course children have an innate sense of spirituality and we want to develop and grow that in their relationship with God and in their life of prayer. And we're all joint pilgrims on a journey of faith. So what can we do practically to encourage meaningful prayer in children and young people? Well, I think it's, it's quite helpful just to have some simple questions and that you can kind of be exploring together to aid that feeling of kind of journeying and, and praying together. So questions like, um, what are you thankful for? Um, what do you need? Um, what are you sorry for? Yeah. What are you wondering about? Um, what are other people? What does the world need? And of course, regular patterns of prayer at home can only be helpful. Praying in the morning, before you go to school, maybe in the evening, grace over meals, mm -hmm. taking opportunities to pray about world events or engaging with the different seasons of the year and looking at how, as a family, people can pray together. Absolutely, and I think it's really important that we remember, just like we um, like praying in different ways, mm. we find some ways easier than others. It's exactly the same mm. um, for our children and young people. So we need to find multiple different ways and um, try different ways um, so that we can find ones um, that fit for the different children and young people that, that we have. And being yourself as you pray um, is really important, yeah. no matter how old you are. Mm. Fancy a coffee? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, thank you. So Susie, you were talking about how important it is to come as we are before God in prayer. And indeed, we're all very different. We all have different learning styles, but also spiritual styles. Mm. Tell us a little bit more about those. I guess it's kind of different pe people that have a preference for a different spiritual style. Um, actually, we prefer praying um, in slightly different ways. So if you have a preference for the word style, um, maybe it's important to kind of try praying through the word, maybe using the Psalms um, or even writing your own prayers. Um, getting children to write them can be a really valuable experience. For those that um, follow the symbol style, maybe giving them something to hold mm. or something to look at, something just to focus their attention, maybe even light a candle, um, can, can really help um, them to kind of get to that place of, of prayer and experiencing God. For those that um, have a preference for the emotion style, they really like being part of big groups, so praying as a family um, or in Sunday school. Um, can work really well. Um, they also like music, um, so using different musical genres um, to, to help can really help that that sort of way. Um, for those with a preference for the action style, um, actually using a newspaper um, to think through and look through different world events um, and, and pray through those um, can, can work really well. Um, or maybe use something um, that the children have made beforehand. Children are very spontaneous and creative and we need to draw that out and encourage that. And indeed, all of life comes before God in our prayers. It's really important um, throughout everything that we just remember and um, that enable our children and young people to be themselves as, as they pray and to be honest um, with their questions and their feelings um, and, and their worries and, and, and their thoughts. Um, and that we really enable them to, to listen, um, to listen to the still small voice of God.